Our next project is about these dolls, very simple dolls made out of hessian. It's a good combination of um, weaving and sewing for young children. These dolls are inspired on these dolls that I found in South America. They're beautiful dolls. I got two here. Obviously everything has been done by hand, the stitching. They have a little baby there in the, in the, in the bags and the, the faces have been stitched, they're very beautiful. For this project we are using hessian and plastic needles because it's important for young children and for children that cannot handle sharp needles to know that there are other things that they can do um, and they can handle easily. So we have chosen needles, but uh, for all the children these dolls can be done uh, with felt, like this one. This one has been made out of felt and there's it's a lot more happening here. There are buttons, there are shapes, lots of stitches, uh, a lovely um, scarf here around the, around the head and a nice face, all stitched. So to start making this doll, we need the pattern. So the pattern is something very easy that anybody can make. Uh, this is um, a piece of paper cut, uh, folded in half like this. And with a black pen, all I'm going to do is just draw half of the doll. Like that. And I'll go there. And then cut it. Now, all the children can do this, all the students can do this uh, pattern themselves. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it's important to experiment, to find out, to try again. This, these are very important things that we all have to learn. So that is my, my pattern here. So I think I like to make it a little bit different. It's a bit, it's, hack, it, it's too big here, too wide, so I just cut it a little bit narrower. And I'm still not very happy about the neck, but uh, I'll have to try again and again until I get the right one. But as I said, it's important to do, uh, to experiment. If you want to do a doll that it has any shape, it's just uh, a long shape, that's fine. I got my, my uh, pattern here, I, I have two pieces of Hessians here, that, that size, about an A4 size, and I have used masking tape to mask, to go hold it together, to hold the, the pattern onto the Hessian, the material. So I'll cut now, about there. With young children, uh, teachers and parents can pre-cut this shape, but with all the students, they can do the cutting. It's fun to do, just like that. I got here already cut. I got my my um, my doll. Take the uh, pattern off, like this, and it's uh, still good. So it could be passed on to another student, and that is my shape. I got my yarn here. It's important when working in a classroom situation and at home with children to give them uh, bits of a yarn like this or set up like that. It's, it's a lot easier to handle. So I just cut this and thread my needle, my plastic needle, and start sewing. Pull this thread here all the way until you get two together here and again a knot around the finger with that little tail up there and then push that little tail inside the circle and pull and we are going to start our sewing so it goes like from back to front from back to front pull from back to front and pull from back to front and pull. 
So here we are still working uh, on the doll, just uh, stitching around. And here we got to the point that we have to add more, more um, wool, more yarn here. So the way to go is leave a bit thing like that, like not very short, uh, a bit longer. Uh, so you can easily make it a knot just by putting them together like that. Um, and then your finger making a circle here, a loop, and then pushing one of the bits here through the loop and pulling. And that is the, um, we keep going, we can, we can keep going now. That's, that's the way that you add more yarn or more thread to your sewing. So here I got to the end. I finished here. So how do you finish this? And the students always ask me, what do you do next? They come to me. So what do you do next? You go under that stitch here with your needle and create a loop. You see the loop here? So through that loop, you are going to pass the needle once and twice and then pull hard there, pull, pull, keep pulling, 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 and then it creates a knot and is safe to cut like this. Next step is to actually, I'm cutting this a bit shorter there. The next step is to put the stuffing inside the doll. I got this one here, this is part of a cushion, so you can use um, the insert of a cushion or probably an old pillow. Now we're going to start placing the stuffing inside the doll, pushing with your hand in a small bit. Don't try to put the whole lot in because it's not going to work. So also with a clean paintbrush, you can use it to push that towards the head. You keep pushing that, that, hold it and push, push. Use the other side of the, of the paintbrush because it's it's going to be better to push like that, pushing. So it shouldn't be very, very, um, you know, thick and, and heavy. It should be very light like that. Now we got that, we got that opening there. But for that, I have cut a rounded piece out of a, a sweater or a jumper, or it could be hessian. So here is, is the piece ready to stitch to be stitched and there we are from back to front the same the same concept the same idea from back to front and pull back to front and pull okay there is the doll we got the the, um, the stitched has been done so I got my bit of uh, weaving that's my bit of weaving and I had some bat buttons here to make a face so with the stitching here, uh, because this is so um, easy to stitch, we can stitch things very, very uh, easily. You can stitch the bit of um, weaving in such a way, like this one here, like this one here, that it has been stitched all ar around there, but in and out, in and out pull, and it's like a little pocket. We finished the stitching there, so we have to keep decorating. If we look at this doll, it got um, pink eyes and a pink mouth, the little bit, the, the pocket, we call it. But if you look on the other side, it got another face. So you can be very creative, very imaginative. You got blue eyes, um, it got moustache and a little co a color, but also has a pocket here. You can put anything on the pocket there. The eyes are going to be buttons bit of glue there with a small paintbrush, press down and press down and I like to give it some hair. So this one will have hair here. You can be very, very creative, very uh, imaginative using your imagination to add things, to have fun, to keep going. And probably a mouth will be lovely. Shall I give it um, a 
Ooh, what kind of color shall I do for the mouth? I don't have any red, but in this could be any colors. I think it's going to be blue. So cutting a bit of felt, a bit more there, and just a very simple mouth. It's too big, so you, you can just uh, adapt it. Yeah, there you are, a smiley mouth. Mm, yeah. Doesn't matter, the glue will disappear when it dries. There are many, many, many possibilities with these um, little dolls. There's something like that. It could be, look, something like, goes like that, like a little skirt. So it's up to you what are you going to do at the end with the dolls, what is going to become, what is, is your doll going to become something really fun.